Hi, I'm Jim Blitch, the founder of Zingboard. So what is Zingboard? Zingboard is a tool to measure the school within the child. It, it sort of was a, a moment of epiphany, but really it, it started to grow out of the fun and excitement that my daughter, my oldest daughter, was having um, at a local Jefferson Parish playground. I wanted to find a way to share her moments of pride with the world, but wasn't satisfied with the sort of open public networks that were out there. So I started to look into a means of celebrating her. And it gives children their voices back and allows them to identify what motivates them the most and then allows them to assign the values that they relied upon to fulfill those achievements. Through the use of Zingboard, school administrators can then, using student-driven data, assess the value performance of the school and align that with school goals. This isn't just for schools that are already value-based. We actually feel that this is for every school, value-based or not. So it was starting out as just a means of broadcasting and celebrating my child became an educational tool for all the children, and not just of Jefferson Parish, but of all the world. I'm Amy Adato Freeman, and I'm a co-founder, Chief Strategy Officer for Zingboard. I joined January 1, officially. i um, been talking to Jim since August. The exciting thing for me is to build something. I know how important the learning process is and how great it is to be part of that. In joining Jim, I felt that I could help him strategically plan and build and be part of a greater, a greater good project that could be a great, great idea, and it is a great idea. I'm really a big believer in the fact that if you can provide something in an education environment and teach kids at a young age, that you can impact them for their life. I've gotten such positive feedback on the fact that schools really need this. I do think it's a really exciting opportunity for not just the schools that I already know and that I'm familiar with, with the four kids that I have, but way beyond the scope of what I know education-wise. Like, I can't wait to bring it to some schools that I have connections with in New York and in other states that are outside of Louisiana. I've never questioned, ever, the success of the project. It's thrilling. It's thrilling to wake up in the morning and to know that, you know, what hat am I going to have on today? Am I going to have the fundraising hat on today or the marketing hat? Am I going to be filling out an application to a pitch competition like the Gradina Challenge. So I've always had Jefferson Parish support. I created Zingboard in Jefferson Parish. It was tested here, it was piloted here, and mentors and business leaders in, New Orleans, in the area helped me through it. So when we saw the Cordina Challenge application out there, we knew that we were the perfect fit for it. The Cordina Challenge brings with it um, a number of things that we need aside from name recognition and the marketing that goes along with it. It is the mentoring that we know that we will get out of it. Just being associated with a success story like Cordina Beverages itself is, is, is really encouraging for us. I think Zingboard will end up being an, a humongous success story for Jefferson Parish. Zingboard is about promoting great community and great values and what I hope is that two years, five years, ten years from now, Jefferson Parish will look back and say, we're so glad we invested in Zingboard because now we can say we were helping start something that really matters throughout this country.